Hey, good morning, everyone. <sighs> so on yesterday, I lost someone very near and dear to my heart. He was a brother to me in every sense and truest sense of the word. And it hurts. I mean, it really hurts. And I mean, it especially hurts today because every year on March 27th, we have the same conversation, <laughs> okay? And we start by talking about the time I let Eric talk me in to driving all the way to Chicago and back <laughs> for Christmas break during the winter in the cold. We had a ball, but that was quite the adventure. And then we talk about what happened 19 years ago today. And that's because, you know, things happened the way they did and babies come when they want to come. So I called him at like one o'clock in the morning and I said, Eric, what you doing? And he said, oh, I'm just sitting here watching TV. He was asleep. I said, I need you to take me to the hospital. He's like, what? I said, I need you to take me to the hospital. The baby's coming. He said, now? I said, I need you to take me to the hospital. The baby's coming. He said, okay. So no sooner than I hung up the phone, my doorbell rung. And I was like, Eric, how'd you get here so fast? Did you jump? Because, of course, he lived right upstairs. So we get to the car. And you remember Blockbuster? Okay. So I had these Blockbuster movies in my hand. So we get in the car. We're driving. We turn on the Southside Boulevard. And I said, I need you to go over there to Blockbuster so I can drop these movies off. Eric shot me that Negro please look. <laughs> and he was like, I'm not going to Blockbuster. He said, what? You want to stop at Walmart and go shopping too? You know how Eric is. So I was dying laughing. He fussed about that the whole way to the hospital. So we get to the hospital. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. And he pulls up in the front, you know, in the women's section, whatever that is. He pulls up. He drops me off. And he goes to park the car. There's this other couple there, and they had already called in, and the people were coming out to get them. So when the hospital personnel came out to get what they thought was going to be one patient, they only brought one wheelchair. So um, he was like, oh, my God, I only have one wheelchair. He said, look, I can call inside and get you another one. And he said, but can you walk? And I said, yeah, I can walk. I'm good. You know, I got this. So we started walking. I turn around. Eric comes running up. So Eric runs up, and all he sees is this other woman from another nationality sitting in a wheelchair and me walking. So Eric was pissed. Eric was like, what the hell? He's like, what's going on here? Oh, oh, is that kind of establishment? Is that kind of establishment? And, and I'm trying to explain, no, 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 Eric, it's all good, it's all good. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. I'm protesting. I'm protesting. So this clown, 2 o'clock in the morning, he's walking through the hospital chanting, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. And I am dying. I am crying laughing. And so we get inside. He's just chanting and chanting. We walk in. We get in the elevator. He gets quiet. And I'm like, okay, thank God. He has calmed down. So I'm drying the tears from my eyes from laughing so hard. Those elevator doors open. That man started, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. And I mean, people in their hospital rooms and he chanting, no justice, no peace. I'm like, Eric, they're going to put us out. Stop. So at some point, uh, one of my dear friends, Jerrica, Jerrica Dickerson, she shows up. And um, we all in the room. And, um, you know, I'm like, okay, I need everybody just be quiet. Shh. Be quiet. Turn the lights out. Let's just get, I'm going to do this natural. And I need peace. Mm, I need peace. I need quiet. So we all get quiet, settle down. And Eric falls into this deep sleep, right? Eric starts snoring up a storm. Jericho's like, scared. what's wrong with you? Wake up. You're scaring the baby. The baby can't come. And now they going at it, and I'm dying laughing. It was so funny. So we, every year today, March 27th, we have that same conversation. But this is me. You see Eric holding my baby? Yep. That's Eric, Uncle Eric, holding my baby, March 27, 2000. And I cannot believe 
that we will not be having that conversation today. I can't believe it. My brother is gone. Oh my God. I just can't believe it. <laughs> but anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.